The Netherlands is constantly fighting to keep the North Sea at bay. One third of the land is below sea level and 65% is vulnerable to flooding. Over the centuries, the country has suffered some catastrophic floods. We always fight the water because we have to make our land safe. We have to live with the water, but also fight the water. Today, the Netherlands has the most sophisticated water drainage system in the world. But in the 17th century, dry, usable land was so scarce, the growing population was running out of space to produce food. They tried to drain these bigger lakes within the sea dike uh, area and the marshlands in North Holland. But a lot of attempts, they didn't work. These lakes, they were very deep. It took them several centuries to figure out how to drain them. But in 1609, engineer Jan Andriansun Leewater came up with an ingenious solution. The son of a miller, Leewater's idea would change the face of the Netherlands forever. Water engineer Nanko Dolman has come to Beemsterpolder where it all began. What Leewater did here in making this, this polder uh, dry was a big, big achievement and it made him the first hydraulic engineer in the world. This entire area was once a lake measuring 70 square kilometers and three meters deep. Traditionally, windmills were used for water drainage, but they had their limits. The challenge with windmills like this, they can scoop off one meter uh, per windmill. But as the lake was three meters deep, Leivata needed to rethink how the windmills were used. First, he dug a 38 kilometer ring canal around Beemster Lake. He used the excavated soil to create a barrier or dike. He then installed his first windmill, which lifted water from the lake and into the ring canal. What Leivata did next was a stroke of engineering brilliance. So in the first stage, they could move a scoop only one meter of water away. So they would construct and build a second windmill. This windmill would scoop the water and it will be elevated to the next windmill and it will be discharging to the ring canal. The result was a series of windmills placed one meter below the previous one. As the water level in the lake dropped out of reach of one windmill, another was installed below. Thus, the water was lifted up in stages until the lake was empty. And the dike protected the new land from further flooding. Leivata used 42 windmills in all. The project took three years to complete, and in 1612, the lake was empty and the land ready to cultivate. These reclaimed areas became known as polders. The Beemster polder was the blueprint of all polders, not only for the Netherlands, but also internationally. And it is a real engineering masterpiece. Leivata had made the impossible possible. Now 50% of the Netherlands is made up of reclaimed land protected by over 12,000 kilometers of dikes and sea defenses.